Hi, welcome back. Um, Sarah here and I'm up to day three of the 100 uh, day challenge. The prompt for this one is the secret garden. I really like this prompt. As soon as I, uh, Rachel told me what this one was going to be, there was lots of ideas swirling through my head. So the first thing that I did is I went through some of my old books and I have this, it's like a, um, it's like an illustrated um, nature and uh, animal sort of encyclopedia and I found this really pretty scene into like a forest. So I thought that'd be a really good backdrop for my secret garden. So I'm just gluing that down. The image actually went over two pages. So uh, you can see the main one there and then I've got the little extra that pretty much ends up making the image go the width of the full a4 page. The A4 page is just some tea dyed paper that I will trim down to the size of the image to just to make it look neat and I didn't want it to be too tall so I'm about to trim that down. So my next idea is that I wanted to have the doors that led to the secret garden. So luckily I was able to find this great image of a door which was from one of my sister Rachel's printables that her husband Steffi um, worked on on the computer and illustrated. So I think this might have been a photo that she took maybe in Venice or in Florence and then Steffi has played around with it on the computer so that now it looks almost like a painting. So what I've done is I've uh, sliced that image in half so that I've got the two doors and the idea is that I will be folding them over so you open up the two doors and it's going to reveal the secret garden. So now it's time for me to do a little bit of embellishing on the inside of my secret garden. So I've, I've cut out a whole bunch of stuff. I got a lot of fussy cuts of birds and flowers and bits and pieces that I thought I might want to use. And I'm just playing around with them now to see where I like the layout. So here are some of the flowers just working out which ones I want to put on I quite like all of those ones and I wanted to put a pretty English lady inside my secret garden so this strip of um, sort of border I just cut this out of a book that I got that was on gardens and it had a illustration which was really pretty with this border so I've cut off a piece of the border
And now I'm going to stick down some flowers. All of these flowers are ones that I found on the Biodiversity Heritage Library. The link to that can be found in some of my other videos because I'm, I'm using images from this library fairly regularly because there's some really beautiful stuff there. I must say, word of warning, and I think one of my subbies mentioned this on my last video, once you find that Biodiversity Library heritage library you're going to spend a lot of time on there because there are so many images and I've spent quite a significant amount of time already um, finding images that I like. Now I'm going to add a little label, so I want to stamp on it the secret garden. Um, this is just a little label I made on my computer and then I printed it onto tea dye paper. And then I found a little um, number on one of my um, embroidery transfer sheets uh, and I just like I like sticking numbers in places, so I put this little number on my label. And it almost blends in like it was printed there. So I add this little squirrel just in the corner, but then later on I remove it because I don't like how it looks. And I'm going to add um, some, I think another bird and some butterflies. Again, all of these butterflies are ones I found on the Biodiversity Library.
So I'm pulling out my little clickable stamps and I'm going to stamp the words The Secret Garden on my label. And I also do just a tiny bit of stamping on the bottom, some script in that bottom corner because I just think it looks a bit plain. A bit crooked, it doesn't matter. And then I stamp a little plant with flowers. So I just forward through that, me trying to find the right letters because it took a little while. But you can see I've stamped the secret garden up the top. I love those letters. I got them on AliExpress. Super cheap. And I just love the font. Now I've decided to make a, like a journaling card that's going to be just clipped on the inside because on my little um, fold out thing that I've made, I don't know if there's a proper name for it, there's nowhere really to write anything because it's all decorated. So I thought it would be a good idea to um, have a space where you can actually do some journaling if you want to. So that little image I've just put on there is another one from my sister Roxy Creations by Rachel's Digital Kits. And now I'm just adding a few things like old ads out of um, newspapers or books. Uh, that's like a um, image of an old ruler which I cut out of a magazine and I'll do some layering at the bottom and then then I've got a pretty bird image to go on top And now it's time to do a bit of decoration on the back as well because it was just a pretty much a boring scrapbooking paper and I think that's pretty dull to journal on. So I'm going to stick down some tea dyed graph paper uh, to give it some interest, uh, interesting sort of um, paper to write on. And now I'm just going to do some embellishing on the back because I thought that was a fairly large blank plain space. So I just do a bit of embellishing over here on the left hand corner.
Okay, so now I'm going to go back to work on the front. And what I want to do is I want to put a couple of... Um, what are those things called again? I keep forgetting the names of these things. You know, the little circle things. I know you're yelling it at me. I'm having a mental blank. Anyway, I think I'm using my crocodilly, crocodile, croca, whatever it is machine properly this time. In my video the other day, I used it upside down. But I think this is the right way where you look down the shaft and you can see where you want to place your hole. So, um, I, can't, I can't believe I've forgotten the name of these things. Anyway, I find two of these things to put in because I want to put a tie on the front to close the doors to the Magic Garden. So I'm just going to clip the journaling card on the inside with one of those tiny little Tim Holtz paper clips which are really cute and I've cut a strip of sari silk in green because I thought it went with the uh, secret garden theme to tie up the front. But I feel like the front maybe just needs a touch of something so I'm having a look at some of the little plants that I've fussy cut to see what would work. And I eventually come up with one that I think is good. So here's my finished product. It's a little flippy out thing. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's doors that open up to my secret garden. And inside my secret garden, I've added a space for journaling. So you could do your secret journaling in your secret garden if you want to. Um, I like the way this has turned out. I'm, I'm happy with it. I, I love the I love the doors. That was sort of the original idea that I had in my head that I wanted doors to open up to the garden. And um, I think it's turned out well. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.